Hey YouTube, it's Daco the Trader. How are you guys doing? Um, last time I actually made it into, well, we, we got a new quest, it's come fly with me. Hopefully you can complete that today. There's actually loads of enemies behind us, I don't know if you can see that. Some foul ghouls, but we're going to try to dodge them. We'll let Boone take that actually. We get experience for, for actually when our companion kills them, which is nice, you know, in, in Fallout 3 that didn't happen. So, I keep making sure I'm going to go for all the quests. Uh, oh no, that's getting, to, that's getting me half to death, that did. But, um, I'm not under my mouth. Uh, we're not going to go for all the quests, but I'm going to be trying to get as many quests relevant to the story as I can get done. So I'm going to put my SM, my pistol on. Uh, it doesn't matter who gets the kill as long as you or your companion gets the kill. Uh, I'm trying to make it so that Boone does not die. I don't know how it works. I, I know him very hard. Um, if, if he dies, he's gone forever. Get some foul ghouls here. Um, I'll have to wait for them to pop up. As you can see, that's the spa perk. What keeps popping up. Um, we've got the recon test site. Like, I could go for headshots. I'll try to go for some headshots. Okay, boom. <laughs> As you can see, these guys are pretty goddamn easy, but they do have radiation, so you need to be aware of that. Uh, it's mainly just the, um, just one or two of them. So I, I don't, I'm not fan of ghouls because they scare me, scare me. And also, why the hell do you get um, karma for killing these guys? I don't know. So we're going to the Repon, Re Repcon test center to, uh, to see what's going down. Uh, there, there's a lot of stuff happening here. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do the good path. Like I'm, I'm gonna be a bit of an a-hole here and there. Oh my. Go on. Handle him. Go on. Can't run from are, you gonna, are you gonna get him? Nice one. Anything to save ammo, I guess. Uh, so, I hope you guys are actually enjoying Fallout New Vegas as much as I am. It's, um, it's a great game. I love it. So, let's go and see what's happening in the re- Oh, sorry, just put the mic. Uh, I'm going to go into the re- re con facility and see what's going down. Let's see. Hey! Over here! Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Uh, who are you? Where are you located? Tell me where you are, okay. So there's someone upstairs, there's a metal staircase, and that's how we know where to find him. What the hell is this? This is a nightkin. We'll be meeting many of these. I'm going to be stealing the plasma pigs. Plasma stuff. Thank you. Stealing the ammo. There's actually a lot of uh, weapons around here. And there's a lot of fellow ghouls, as you can see. Oh, Eat this. Yeah. Um, this, this is some hard enemies in this area as well, so be wary if you're playing along at home. I don't think you will be. There's actually like someone in here, isn't there? I thought that was a nice one, Boone. Run from me. Um, yeah, it's, it is pretty much a massive maze, and of course, we've we've over overcome our weight, and now, yep, I'm actually gonna just keep the dynamite just because it's good to sell. Um, uh, repair some pistols might as well. I hate this though, like, okay, I've got to repair my uh, awesome weapons. I think the higher repair you get, them like more. The more repairs that you actually get, but like I keep mentioning, there is a lot, and I mean a lot of um, ghouls in this area. Some good and some bad. I don't want to spoil the entire quest. Okay, there's a, a ghoul around here. Upstairs, I think it might be. I, I think this is the way we need to go, though. Oh no, it's not. It leads outside. Let's go back in. <laughs> oh, God damn it! It is a massive maze, and I really don't like this part of the game. Hopefully, we get it done this episode because this is like my least favorite area of the game, and. I was not looking forward to this area. Okay, that's empty. There's someone in here. There has to be. I'm keep seeing the vats to see if there is. Yep, behind us. Eat this. Boon, boon. I'm sure there was someone who attacked us in here. I don't know to be honest. It was skin packs. A rechargeable rifle. Oh my god. Rechargeable rifle is great. It's infinite ammo, pretty much. Um, it does lose. I'm going to actually drop my club here because I'm not going to never use it. It's infinite ammo, but it has a condition. As you can see, it's reloading automatic in the bomb right. It's good, but it's not amazing. Ooh, we can we actually steal forks. How cool is that? Forking, man. It's the future. What you got? Skin pack pi pistol. I'm fine with it. Like, I'm not going to... I'm not doing the foul ghost because there's no point. I'll pick up a steady... Um, I'm going to be going through most of these items, by the way, so don't you worry if you're getting confused what I'm picking up. I'm just picking up all the good loot. Yeah. Yeah, that's honestly what I'm doing. Uh, rechargeable. Ooh, another rechargeable rifle. I'm going to actually heal this one, then. I'm not a fan of the rechargeable rifle. Uh, it's decent. But it's not amazing. It's, it's a good weapon. There's still some ghouls around, but as you can see, I'm totally lost right now. 
Um, and we're back at the lobby somehow. Um, I get lost with this game quite easy. So I hope I don't sound too croaky because I've been really unwell today. If you watch my daily vlogs, you you'd know when I'm recording this. Then let's see how this weapon is. How good this weapon is? It's okay. It, it's it doesn't do great damage, but uh, yeah, some stuff to pick. I think this actually might actually take a few episodes. I think this might take two episodes to do this quest. Uh, I'm actually picking the locks just because I can. Um, for experience in that, isn't it? I love experience. I actually don't know if I've missed one I could pick. I'm just looking to try to get to the metal staircase as quick as I can. Is that safe? It is. Oh. I would force a lock open more often, but I don't want to force it. Oh, don't, don't break it. Don't break it. Ah. In Skyrim, you get bobby pins quite well. And what they call them? In, uh, I don't think they call bobby pins in Skyrim. Stealth boys, definitely going to take some of those. They really help. Stealth boys are literally just ninja. I've also got that gun. Don't know what the hell that gun is. It also has some good damage. And that's one of the better weapons in the game. I don't know. I literally don't know the best weapon in the game. I know the sunset one. Oh, I've still, I've still got weight. I'm actually going to give Boone some stuff like that. That's, that's another thing you can use. Boone is press E. You can interact with him and see his weight. Fine by me. And you can give him some random crap. But you don't use like... I don't, I'm not going to use that, or that, or that, or that, or that, and uh, it's great. He will use the weapons, whatever you give him, so fair warning, um, you need to realise he will use them, if it's a better skill set, so yeah, it's always good to give him a good armour as well, like you want him to stay alive and all that, so this is through, oh balls, we was in this room earlier, where is that metal staircase, honestly man? I can't tell if I'm being a complete idiot or am I totally missing it. I may be doing both. Oh, zombie we missed. Uh, a ghoul. I'm going to talk to zombies because not zombies, the ghouls. <sighs> where is that guy? I know where he is, but <laughs> I'd get lost so easy in this area. I might as well take a fix. Fixes are okay because you can use nothing. it for a quest later on if you want to get a certain companion, which I might show off. Is it? I know he's on the bottom floor, the ex entrance. Hmm. There has to be a way to go lower. You guys have probably played this game thousands of times, like screaming. It's obviously. Oh, found it! Haha! <laughs> Die! No, 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 I'm not scoping. And this is what happens when you no scope with this weapon. Ah! Die! Good damn And now we've got to wait for it to reload because it can take forever. Also, there's a lot of uh, stuff you can loot in here. But we need to go upstairs to the guy who was like, maybe on the staircase and all this. So let's go and see what's going down on the staircase. Hopefully we find actually a quick way around here. He's going to ask us to help him anyway, and of course, we can't say no, because we're, we're nice guys, and also, we need to help, because it's a quest. <laughs> so, we need to help him. What the? How the hell did I land on the floor? What? I was... Da F? Da F. I w... That is stupid game. Stupid. I fell off the top somehow. I don't know. I think I must have glitched through the floor or something. But if you talk to the radio right here, it's the guy who was communicating came with, and he says, you can come upstairs now. So, let's go on and see what's happening. So, we're going to meet... God, but are you... Whoa, you're not a ghoul. Um, so, yeah, people call me smooth skin because I'm not a ghoul, and these people are actually really intelligent ghouls. And, yeah, they, they were at the center point of the radiation, but we're looking for a certain individual called Jason. He is going to communicate with us. Is this Jason? Nope. Hey. Jason is the leader of the Bright group. I don't know what to call them. And he's usually upstairs, so I don't know why the... He's probably upstairs in this level. Somewhere. Jason? Jason? Jason! Where's Jason? Hello? You're not Jason. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can't sleep in these beds, so you can't really heal yourself, which... I want to say before I go into the next... Where is the Jason here? I'm, I'm searching for him, but literally it's like an... Oh, there he is. Here's Jason. Hello, Wanderer. So he's going to talk to us about the great journey, and uh, he's going to talk about his whole followers wanting to, to, to leave the area, and and that demons are annoying him, and they're all underground. So we're going to go and look for the demons underground. We're going demons underground. Uh, the demons are actually the Nightkin. We, uh, we we met them recently, but we need to actually go and check out how, why they're bother bothering. The whole uh, smooth skin 
um, the whole Jason Br Bright thing, because Jason Bright's got some uh, some stuff he wants to complete. So, Spotted. what the hell? I heard something. <laughs> Can't run from me. Who knows? I'll just let him handle it. To be honest, give me some free experience. Why don't you? So now you just spend time searching for the basement. Uh, there's a basement in here. The first time I actually played the game, I didn't know you had to talk on the. Um... Oh, come on, I can pick this lock. Uh, I didn't know you had to. Oh my god, the ghouls! I didn't know you had to even uh, go and talk to him on the radio. I thought it was just like random, and then I I felt a bit like an idiot. What the hell? Where are we now? Oh my god, we we could hack the computer and stuff. Well, we can't, that's unhacked, but. Oh my god, I leveled up. You know what I'm doing? I'm gonna do with lock pick all the way. Lock lock pick until I get to 99. And uh, we're gonna have. Uh... Which, let's see what I want. Uh... I don't really like these. Uh, income and you get. Yeah, I'll have that. It's, it's like uh, the perks currently are really bad just because I'm only leveling up with lock pick. But that is kind of my own fault because lockpick is like the most vital skill, and after that you can literally just speed run the rest of the game. So yeah, I like lockpicking. So I went the wrong way. I think I did at least to the basement because if I remember right, it's next to this nightkin over here, and then left. Yep, there it is. There's the basement we've been looking for. I'm gonna save up really quickly. Uh, yes, you're gonna get to see me save. This is probably one of the only times I save until the end of the game, uh, just because this area can be quite difficult and it's kind of amazing. And if I uh, get into the wrong area of the game, I will get into a fight. I'm gonna put my gun away. Dark in here. And this. It's hard to explain where we are. We're in the basement, but there's some individual individuals you don't want to mess with in here. Uh, I think it's in this room down here. Just follow the way I'm going because I'm I'm trying to dodge him, all the enemies. And there's a guy here. What's that, and he talks about um, that ghouls want him to be gone, but he's not friends with the ghouls. Only way we can get him to go is if we do a certain quest for him. Yeah. And uh, to, to find that, we need to go and talk to someone called Davison. And if you look, it says search for the nearby room for the stealth boys. If you go down here, there's actually a dead nightkin. I'm going to switch weapons because there's two things you can do. You, you can either do the way I'm doing it, which is the easy way. Uh, there's actually a guy right there, I don't know if you see him, right there. Um, Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to actually, I like, I, I need him. What the hell? My flatmate's for you right there. But, but uh, I'm actually gonna act like uh, I'm not part of the bright group. Uh. Oh, wait, I don't know. I'm actually gonna act like I'm actually his friend and then uh, kill him. Because this guy has got all the information for the certain quest I'm doing, so. Let's go and see him. Uh, I'm going to plant my weapon. I'm going to try to be all sneaky as much as I can. Because this guy can pack a big wall up. Uh, so I'm trying to snipe him. Okay, dodge him. Okay, nice one. We got him, we got him. He can be quite annoying if you don't know what you're doing, so. One less thing to worry about and all that. Uh, Davidson is dead. Let's loot his body. Hunting rifle. Might as well. You don't have to kill him. You could do a different way on which you can actually get rid of him. You can actually kill all the all the nightkins, but I like to do this way just because it's quicker and easier. So I just the terminal right here, and you'll be able to find all the information about the whole um, what's it called? Um, stealth boys. So now we're gonna return back to Davidson and tell him that the stealth boys have been taken. Oh my god! That bear trap I landed on. God damn it! And now he's gonna. He's, he's not going to be happy because we can't give him stealth boys. That's what he wants. He likes to be stealthy. If you keep actually going down the corridors and stuff, you'll actually find all his troops actually using stealth boys. Uh, Davison can be quite difficult as well to kill. You seen. can kill him if you really want to. So, uh, so he, he's going to leave. And with that, we can actually go back up and uh, see Jason and Bright about the quest and see what he, he needs help with. So, one last thing. And I'm, I'm happy with that. You know, uh, less problems are always good to me. So, I love it. Let's keep going up, 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 up. So, I'm glad this, this area hasn't been too bad. It, we're, we're not even halfway done with the quest, by the way. So, I think it is going to go into two episodes, which I'm, I'm not too bothered about. Uh, it could be worse. It could be better. There's nothing I can really do about it. But, yeah, let's go into 
the research lab and find Jason Bright and tell him that we got rid of the Nightkin because the Nightkin are awful. Like to be honest, you can't get a Nightkin um, associate. Hey there. Um, what's it called? Um, partner. But I like it's 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 a really annoying to get and you only really need just to get the achievement. It's it's a good. Where is Jason Bright again? He always vanishes. <sighs> Grayson's playing Total Rome. Hello, Grayson. Jason Bright always ninjas, but uh, the Nightkin associate is kind of bad. I just bumped the mic again. It's 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 powerful, but yeah. And now Jason Bright's gonna run off. We actually need to follow him because he's gonna head to the basement and try to escape. Yeah, he's gonna try to escape the area we are currently in, which. I can. He wants to get rid of the Nightkin, but you can, you can actually really beat him down by just jumping off here. But yeah, I'll probably do it here. Like if you land on the bars, I don't think you take any damage. There we go. And he's gonna run down to the basement. Uh, we're gonna follow him and see what he needs help with next, so that we can complete the weird phenomenon happening at the research center. Then we can go back to Manny and tell him that we sorted out the problem and what happened. So yeah. So behind Davison, the leader of the Nightkin. Uh, there's actually a hidden door right here. Let's check it out. Let's go in and pop in to see what's happening. Open the mysterious door. And let's go down some weird staircase. This is another part of the game I actually did get lost earlier on. Uh, but I found it, okay? I found it. So we're in the sewage system. Uh, there's actually any radiation, which I'm surprised about down here. And there's no enemies. So. Who knew? Uh, you can't see loot quite a bit. There's some quite a bit of money here to have, have, but to be had here. But I'm not gonna loot it just because I'm lazy, and it's much easier to not. I wonder if I can pick any of this up. Can I pick it up? No. Um. So, yeah, it's it's like there's a lot of stuff to pick up, and usually you don't have a companion at this part of the game, but I do because I, that was the first quest I did uh, in this playthrough. I usually don't go first play him first. I go for someone else. But let's talk to Jason Bright and see what he needs. I waited to speak with So he needs help with the launch pad it looks like, some kind of So uh, I'm gonna have to try to help him. Uh, so let's talk about Chris, you know the guy who was a bit dodgy. Uh, so you're gonna leave Chris behind, yep. <laughs> it's none of my business, but if you wanna leave him, just go ahead. So let's talk to Chris and see what he needs help with. Jason says that I am to So um it looks like he needs help with the great rockets. How can I help? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'll track down some... It doesn't matter because you need to do both, so... Uh, I'll give you this, blah, blah, blah. I need to get going. But I think it's about time to end the episode as my flatmates are making loads of noise. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I've been Declan Trainer. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next episode of Fallout New Vegas. I'll see you guys then. Peace.